Hi guys and welcome along to episode 3 of the hashtag career mode series here on FIFA 21 and first up I just want to say a big thanks for the support so far on the series and also for getting involved with the polls over on Twitter to help decide the direction of hashtag United. The second one for episode 2 was to enable us to choose between three youth academy prospects and you guys decided that the 21 year old Caleb Hilton was who we would bring into the squad from now on. So he will be brought in to bolster things up and I think it's about time we get on into the action to see how he gets on. So the first game of the episode is against Carlisle United. We travel to Brunton Park with a bit of a change lineup because we have to factor in the fact that we've got a, another game in a few days time. Burkane out at right back, O'Raw comes in in place of Ashley Williams. We've still got Hersey and Anderson and Walla Lassen in the midfield area and obviously Gregory up front due to that injury to Smithy. But aside from that, we have got a few other changes. Let's get on into it. Walla Lassen's open. And Toby, will he get there? He does. Keeps it in. Can he find somebody at the back post? Can't quite get there ahead of the defender. But signs are looking good from the get-go for... Hashtag as we're getting behind here with Gregory and he fires it just wide of the post. Not a bad effort there. <laughs> Sticking his head where it might hurt as Riley nearly takes his head off. It's good work by Hashtag though to keep Carlisle at bay. Good turn on the edge of the box. Patrick gets the shot away and Page is able to turn it around the post. Good save there by the standing goalkeeper. Ball over the top. Possession stats showing just how much of the ball that Carlisle have had in this first half, but they haven't made that pressure pay so far. Bell now cuts inside. And he's got the ball off. It's a poor shot though. And Page is able to claw that out of the air as we now try and come forward again. And he's got Walla Lassen in. Joe Gregory's clear. Takes the shot from the edge, but there wasn't enough power on it. And Farman is well relieved with that, I'd imagine. As we go into the half-time break at 0-0, they might have had a lot of the ball, but they haven't really created a great deal with it. Through to Alessandra. Manages to get the ball out to Bell. A little click ball back. He's out of position now and Burkane, what a challenge by the youngster. As we now send Toby down the line, massive amount of pace. But he's going to cut back inside, looks off for Joe Gregory, holds the ball up well, sends it back to Toby. Space is at a premium and we've managed to steal in round the back. And is it Louis Burkane? Is it a goal? I think it is. He wasn't offside. There is the first goal of the game, and he has been the top performer. Getting forward from the right back there, well deserving of the goal. A great finish as well on his left foot. Well done, Louis Burkane. Yes, boys. Let's go. That goal for hashtag proving that possession is not always the way to win a game you got to score goals lads and hashtag have one in the back of the net and we now lead here at Brunton Park okay so a debut here for Caleb Hilton let's see what he is made of having just arrived from the youth academy he comes in with a 48 overall so not a bad statistic to come in at especially when our goal scorer as we know is oh, noobs Great save by Page to claw that around the post. The ball given up too easily by Newby, who's just come onto the field of play. And the Carlisle striker gets one away, but Page is equal to it. It looks like we've got an injury. Indeed, we have Alroar, another centre-back with an injury. And we will have to go to the bench as the stretcher is being brought on. Hilton with a good touch, round the corner to Keith. Toby was looking for it, it's come back out to Albie Keith who takes the strike, another one from distance and 
it wasn't the best strike, but we'll take the fact that we are now running down the clock and have the opportunity to get our first three points on the board here against Carlisle. Surely the referee is going to put the whistle to his mouth as he does right now and hashtag United have their first three points of the League 2 season. Carlisle distraught. So there's some really bad news. We've just found out after this game that Ryan R. Raw's injury is quite severe. He will be out for two months with a broken elbow. So that means that obviously we are going to have to rely on other players for squad depth going forward. The second game of the episode is a home fixture at the Lens Salmon Stadium as we face off against an Exeter City team that arrive here with what appears to be quite a fresh lineup. We ourselves also have a decent lineup available to us because of the rotation we did in the last game. But let's see how we get on against Exeter. Richmond with the lovely back heel and now the ball on the way out to Josh Asude. Travels towards goal. Looks across, tries to take the shot against Ward. Nothing really on aside from the shot there. And it was a good decision in the end by Josh. But we are still nil-nil here. Carter round the corner and Harry Honesty is on his bike. Cuts it across. <laughs> it's an easy finish for Richmond in the middle. Getting himself another goal here. For hashtag United, a really, really good breakaway goal by the boys. And we are 1 0 up in this one. Looking by far the better team at this stage in the game, but as we know, it can turn on a sixpence. Ball across the J, there's a man over. There's a man over and we can't get there. And what was I saying about games turning on a sixpence? We are suddenly back at level peggings here against Exeter. And we'll need to chase hard for another goal. It's a great finish by Taylor as he comes through the pack. Just didn't uh, have a man dropping in there. Williams had come across to cover, left the space for Taylor to get into and Gleed can't get there. Page didn't stand a chance. 1-1. One, one. Here we go then as we come out into the second half. Can we get a goal to make a difference here at the Lens Salmon Stadium? As Jay brings things under control for Exeter. The chase to get under things under control here at Carter knocks it back into Sam Boyles and he'll have it back again there's plenty of space here in the middle go on Josh that's a poor ball it is a poor ball comes forward with Ek for Exeter Taylor nice chip off gapping opening up here Collins forward into Jay oh he's managed to turn his man but Harrison telegraphed that and took the ball away from the Exeter man Will he keep that in? He does. Hewitt goes across and manages to get a leg in the way and gets the ball out, but Suday can't get there. Oh, that's a great block. Well done, my boys. Sending Josh on his bike. You ain't catching him, mate. Harry Honesty on the far side, but decides to cut back. Comes in to Carter. Ah, oh, and he just can't get it out of his feet. Here we go then, three substitutions right at the end of this game. A few minutes left on the clock. Can we force the issue? But it's now Exeter coming forward. Ross Gleed is absolutely spent here trying to get back. Great fist away by Page there. Nube sends the ball off to Caleb Hilton and the referee blows the whistle but another great performance there in this episode for Hashtag another point on the board and that will see us climbing up the table having had such a poor result in the first episode that change of formation has really paid off 
So here we go, the last game of the episode and we travel to Rodney Parade to take on Newport County. And as you see, they play in a yellow kit, so it means we finally get to send the boys out in that delightful purple outfit. Let's see how they can get on here on the road against Newport County. Oh, it's a good play on the edge of the box there, but we do manage to stand him up and Page manages to grapple that ball away. Anderson now comes clear, driving to the heart of the Newport County defence. Nice turn by Hersey and he's found Gregory. Oh, Gregory just hasn't got the turn on the edge of the box. But Newport looking sprightly in the early exchanges here. Ross Gleed with a great piece of interception play and he drives forward with the ball at pace. He's going to go for it. And I see Josh Asude at the back stick, but it goes in towards Gregory. Not quite deep enough, that ball. Out wide to Louis Burkane. Brings the ball forward into the gap. But Asude is being tracked well, so he sends it inside for Lee Hersett. Holds it up well and sends it off for Anderson. He'll have it back into Joe Gregory, great turn and a great finish by the young striker Joe Gregory come on you tags that is a great piece of play by the boys there Lee Hurst locking the defence but what a turn by Gregory boy oh boy is he going to turn into a striker that is a great finish Joe Let's go, boys. I've already said it in this episode, but that change of formation has totally revolutionised how we can play. Being patient here, Newport. And that is great defending by Ross Gleed. All the lesson's gone. Cuts back, finds Hersit, who sends it through. Oh, Joe Gregory, I held my breath for a moment there as we went through on goal. Thought we were going to get our second. Oh, lovely. Great work. I think Burkane did enough there to put off the striker. He was just tag teaming with Page. Surely that's offside, linesman. Indeed, it was. Newport looking like more of a force right now as they come forward through Sheehan. That is a good interception by Williams, but it drops, fortunately, to a Newport man. And Peddy with an absolutely sensational tackle on the edge of the box and a great through ball to find the archer. It drives at goal and he strikes it past the goalkeeper to make it 2-0. What a finish by Toby. And hashtag United are now running riot here at Newport. A great finish to make it 2-0. Come on, boys. Ashley Williams sends it out wide for Burkane, who, as we know, has been exceptional in this game. Hersit into Gregory, holds it up well and sends it for, Jamie Hers uh, for Lee Hersit, who sends it into the box. Oh, and he nearly, nearly gets himself a goal. Caleb Hilton in his first episode. What a performance that lad has had so far in a hashtag shirt. Just like this lad here, Burkane has been immense so far. Oh, Gregory can't find the pass, but the referee blows the whistle and it's another three points for hashtag. Awesome work, boys. Absolutely awesome. Right then, guys, welcome along to Hashtags Academy. And we've got three more players for you to pay attention to in the end of this episode, as Joel Cook has just returned from his first scouting mission. And that is Brandon Lucas here, a goalkeeper with 48 overall. He's 21 years of age, so I don't think he's far off from being called up to the first team. We have then got 
Alexander Swift, 16 years of age, central midfielder, 45 currently overall with a potential between 58 and 76. And then we have Stanley Howard, centre forward Cam with 45 overall with a potential between 60 and 78. So come the end of next month, a few episodes away, we will once again be promoting another player from the academy, unless of course we are really struggling for fit players at some point in the next few episodes. But nonetheless, it does mean with Joel Cook returning from that last scouting mission in England, that we have to decide where to send him next. And that is where you guys come in. There will be a poll on Twitter after this episode has gone live and you will be deciding on whether we send him to Wales, Scotland, Northern Ireland or the Republic of Ireland. So go and get your votes in. So there we go, a bit of a difference in that episode primarily down to the way the formation plays compared to what we had before we've been able to drop a central defensive midfielder in between the two center backs i think that is a massive thing in terms of the way that this team is going to play going forward and on top of that i got a bit more used to playing fifa 21 over fifa 20 because i hadn't really put in a great deal of errors prior to starting this career mode series uh, only obviously the inter miami series where things played a little bit differently because we we're on a different patch Having said that, some great results in this episode, as you saw. We managed to grab ourselves seven points, which has dragged us out of the, what would be, relegation zone down into the National League uh, and up to 16th place. And to be honest, with a few more points on the board, we would actually be challenging for the playoffs. So we do have to really consider that that might be an option uh, for the rest of the season. And we will obviously push hard for that. But... I think one of the biggest issues we'll have here at Hashtag is going to be the stamina levels of these players. As you saw in that episode, I had to do a lot of rotating to be able to get players that are pretty fresh. Anyway, if you did go on to enjoy this episode, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. But all that leaves me to say is don't forget to hashtag it and I'm out of here.